Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given dartboard logic puzzle. And as you can see in this puzzle, over here, three corresponds to negative six, four corresponds to negative four, five corresponds to zero, six corresponds to six, one corresponds to negative four. Now the question mark it, what number is going to correspond to this two? Can you figure out the answer to this puzzle on your own? You may pause the video and take your time. Oh, let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's look for a certain pattern and then we are going to apply and justify. And in order to keep things simple, I have translated these numbers from this dartboard into a linear scheme. As you can see in this table right here. Now let's focus on these two last consecutive numbers, 0 and 6. And we can clearly see that if we want to go from 0 to 6, we have to add 6. That means the difference is going to be positive 6. Now let's look at these two consecutive numbers, negative 4 and 0. We can see that the difference is positive 4. That means you add positive 4 to this negative 4 to get at this 0. And likewise, when we look at these two next two numbers, negative 6 and negative 4, the difference is clearly positive 2. Now in these next two numbers, now we know that this thing, this number is missing. We don't know. So once again, over here between these two, once again, this number is still missing. We don't know the difference between these two numbers. However, we can see a clear pattern right now. Over here, we can see this is a positive 6. Then it is a positive 4. Then this is a positive 2. That means if we go leftward, we're going to decrease it by 2. So this number is going to become positive 0. And this is going to become negative 2. So therefore, the number at this place has got to be negative 6. Now let's go ahead and check. Now you can see negative 4 and then negative 2. That indeed makes it negative 6. And once again, negative 6 and then plus 0 is going to give us, of course, negative 6. So thus our missing number turns out to be negative 6. And that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.